the third consecutive season, Wyoming is gearing up for a bowl game, which marks the first time accomplishing this feat in school history. The Pokes will play in the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl for a second straight season, facing off with the University of Toledo in the 2023 edition. Hi everyone, I'm Bridget Howard here inside the Mountain West Network studio. This Bowl Blitz is brought to you by Gatorade, Rehydrate, Replenish, Refuel. Well, to talk about the Cowboys trip to Arizona, who better to bring in than the voice of the Cowboys and Kevin McKinney. Kevin, it's great to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me to give us some insight on Wyoming football. Always great to be with you, Bridget. Looking forward to it. And well, it should be a good one. Well, the biggest news ahead of the Arizona Bowl for Wyoming is that Craig Bull announced that this would be his last game as head coach. Shortly after the university announced that defensive coordinator Jay Savell would take over head coaching duties following the bowl game. A lot of change for the Pokes, so I'm curious, what has the vibe been like amongst the team and the coaching staff getting ready for this bowl game, knowing that it's bowls last? Well, you know, Bridget, I, I would be lying if I didn't say it was on their minds, but they're trying to go about business as best they can uh, normally. Uh, everybody is um, excited about Jay taking over the program, but uh, they love Craig Bowl and, and what he did for Wyoming and what he has done. So it's, uh, it's impactful, there's no doubt about it, but they uh, are going about practice and, and preparation uh, like uh, nothing was going on uh, other than the, than the regular. So I think that uh, as best everyone can, coaches and players, they're trying to uh, take care of business as you Well, under the guidance of Craig Bull, this is the team's sixth bowl appearance in the last eight seasons, which is also a school best. And you know that this one is going to be just a little bit more than some of those other ones. Offensively, whether it was Andrew Peasley, Wyatt Whelan, Harrison Whaley, uh, Ayer Asante, Trayton Welch, the Pokes had a variety of guys step up offensively this season. Whaley is the team's leading rusher, averaging around 95 yards per game, while Whelan is at the top of the receiving core with five touchdowns and 400 and 25 yards on the year. When all of those players are going, how fierce can this offense be? Well, it can be really potent. There's no doubt about it, Bridget. I think in the years Craig has been here, this is probably the most explosive group of players that Wyoming has had. When, when uh, you look at Asante and Harrison Whaley, uh, certainly Trayton Welch, uh, you've got guys that can score from anywhere. Uh, Wyoming hasn't had that luxury uh, through most of, of the tiers with Craig, but uh, right now there's a lot of explosive players uh, in this offense. Cowboys have utilized them through the year uh, to great to great effectiveness, and, and I, I think that uh, it, it really helps Andrew, who's explosive himself as far as running the football and throwing it. It's given him so many more options and so many more weapons to go to. So uh, this is, uh, without question, the most explosive group that Wyoming's had, I think, in the Craig Bull era. Yeah, well, they're certainly fun to watch when all of those players are firing and Andrew Peasley has his game going. Well, the lineage of linebackers at Wyoming continue this season with Easton Gibbs carrying the torch this year. He leads the team in tackles this year with 106 total and was an All Mountain West defense first team honoree. How do you sum up what Gibbs has meant to this program, not only his play on the field, but through his leadership as well? Well, that's really a good question because he's been amazing to me. Uh, he's had to follow the footsteps of, of some really good players, obviously, playing in the NFL now. And, and uh, that's, that's hard to do. It's hard to live up to what he's had to live up to. But he's uh, strong of mind and, and uh, that he didn't allow that to bother him. He's a great leader. There's no question about it. Uh, the entire defense and really the team itself looks to him for leadership but you know he, he's just got such great great uh, tools he's, he can run uh he's uh, mentally tough uh a fierce competitor and he's a great tackler and so i i don't think that wyoming has stepped back uh, at all with him at middle linebacker as opposed to those other guys who are now in the nfl and everybody thought that uh wyoming would probably uh fall off a little bit at middle linebacker uh, but Easton did not allow that to happen. He, um, he's as good as any of those guys. We, of course, uh, would expect him to move on to the NFL, but 
his leadership and his competitiveness have been uh, huge for, for Wyoming, not only defensively, but the entire team. Well, the Cowboys ranked second in the Mountain West in scoring defense in 2023 while coming in at third in total defense. Well, let's take a look at the Rockets. They won 11 consecutive games this season. West Division champs of the Mid-America Conference and are making their third consecutive bowl trip as well. They had the number one offense in the MAC and the third best defense this season. We know things are constantly changing with the transfer portal and don't know which players are going to be playing in these bowl games. But when you look at the body of work for this Toledo team this season, what made them so good? Well, I, I think, you know, number one, uh, and, and I would say we all worry about the portal and how it's going to change us. And so uh, we, we all deal with that. But uh, they're, they're just so explosive offensively. They were... Uh, impressive to say the least in, in watching how they play they're, uh, they have so many weapons themselves and, and they uh, go about their business uh, really I think as exciting as any team we've seen all year uh, you don't win 11 games Bridget uh, without being really good on both sides of the ball and, and I think that while they've uh, been probably talked about more uh, offensively they're an outstanding defensive team and they they uh, play hard, they, they're very smart, they don't make many mistakes. And, and so, uh, you know, they, they are very good on both sides of the ball, but I think defense is a little bit underrated with them. Uh, they're much better than people think. Uh, and offensively, they're just outstanding. Uh, they have a lot of weapons. Uh, their offense is uh, really difficult to defend, uh, obviously. And uh, they've had one of those seasons that uh, uh, is as memorable maybe as they've ever had at, at Toledo uh, and, and they're just uh, an unbelievably competitive group and it's going to be uh, quite a game for Wyoming. Yeah well if last year's Arizona Bowl is any indication of what this year's bowl game is to be like I think we're in for a good one. Well Kevin. No, I think we are too I, we just need to win the game <laughs> which we did not do last year but it was so entertaining a year ago and I would suspect this will be uh, every bit as entertaining. Absolutely. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for joining me today. It's always great to chat with you, my friend. Enjoy the sunshine in Arizona and Happy New Year to you. Oh, thank you. And Happy New Year to you. Always enjoy talking to you, too. That's Wyoming broadcaster Kevin McKinney. This Bull Blitz is brought to you by Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. The Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl will be televised nationally on the CW and the Barstool Sports app. Kickoff set for 2.30 p.m. Mountain Time on Saturday, December 30th. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Bridget Howard.